brand new subscription box that has been sent to me by the good people over at Sips Buy. So this is a subscription opportunity that is $15 a month. Um, this is a startup company that um, is out of Austin, Texas, and they sent me this courtesy box to review on my channel. So I very much appreciate this being sent to me, and I'm excited to see the items that are in here. So Sip Spy is a tea subscription box. So what this um, subscription box is going to have is different types of tea that you can try um, that is from all over. So you can personalize your subscription. You do that by going to their website when you're setting up your account. You select the different types of teas that you like and um, then a tea specialist will put together your particular box um, of different types of teas for you to try. We're gonna take a look at this box and see what's in here. I have to be honest, I'm not um, a tea drinker all that much, but um, after going through the quiz that was on there for the personalization, um, it definitely sounded like something that I might want to try. All right, so we'll open it up together and it says sips by on the inside. September's Teas, sipsby.com and hashtag sips by box. So that's what this is. And oh, how cool. And the back side it says made for Becky. That's pretty cool that it is that personalized. Really nice touch. And then it says, can you believe it's already September? Long summer days are starting to become shorter and cooler and we're craving more hot tea. Visit your My Sips page to explore tea lessons, recipes, and more. Share a pic of your Sips by box to enter to win a free month. Happy almost fall, Becky XOXO Team Sips. And then it has uh, the different tea that is in here and what to expect, the flavors and that type of thing. So inside the box, oh, look at me. I'm already throwing stuff around. Um, inside the box, we have our different tea. And so we will go through that. The first one that um, actually just came out, this one is called um, Rishi, I think, and it's the Moonlight Jasmine. It says a tender green tea leaf infused with lush, alluring fragrance of fresh jasmine blossoms. Well, that's kind of neat. So it has one um, sachet uh, within, and the caffeine level of this is a medium caffeine level. Okay, so Moonlight Jasmine. You have uh, one sachet per 12 to 16 ounces of water at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna steep it for five minutes and you can re-steep two times. That's good to know because I think that's one of the things that I get a little confused about on tea is, you know, how many times can you use it and how hot should your water be and how long do you let it sit? and um, you know, I think I've let mine sit too long and then it be, just becomes overpowering and maybe that's why I don't like it um, or didn't like what I was trying. Um, it's a medium caffeine and it says this prism jas jasmine scented tea is made exclusively from spring harvest tea buds. Each double dose sachet can brew up to a small pot for two or an extra large mug. So that's that one. I'm just gonna open this up and see what it looks like and see how it smells because I wanna know. Oh, it's kind of pretty. It's in this nice little sachet and you got your little bag here. I think that's kind of pretty. Oh, it does smell good. It's a very light, light scent, but that smells really good. So I'm gonna try that. Um, it's a green tea, so um, I will probably try that um, in probably sometime in the morning. 
I do like to have, uh, in the winter time, I like to have warmer drinks um, at night. So a lot of times I'll brew like a, um, a decaf coffee at night. Um, but you know, if I can find a tea that, um, you know, is not much caffeine or no caffeine, um, I might consider doing that at night or, you know, in these in the morning where they have a little bit more caffeine. Okay, so our next one, this one is called Tea Drops Rose Earl Grey. So you've got this little tiny packet. It says, ditch the tea bag for your perfect cup of tea. Pour, drop, and enjoy. This true leaf, tr uh, this true loose leaf tea, some sediment will be at the bottom of your cup. Drink it up. So do you literally just drop this in? That's kind of cool. So you don't need one of those little tea thingies? I, I don't know what they're called, but um, that's kind of cool that you can just drop it in your drink and it dissolves. So let's see what they say about uh, the Rose Earl Grey. Um, it says one drop per eight to 12 ounces at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a C pa packet. Organic raw sugar or cane sugar, organic Earl tea, um, organic black tea, organic uh, bergamot oil. I'm not sure if I said that right. Um, and organic rose petals. So this has a high caffeine level. It's bold and royal. This organic Earl Grey tea drop has a distinctive flavor of bergamot orange with a hint of English rose. You're just a drop away from your per perfect cuppa. So that is this one. So this will definitely be a morning tea because um, since it's a high caffeine level, um, I definitely have that in the morning. Now it sounded like it had sugar. Okay, so there there is 35 calories in this particular tea uh, because it does. It sounded like it had sugar in it, or it says it has sugar in it. So I figured that was the case. But there are four of these um, in order to try them. So that's pretty cool. Okay, our next one is Stephen Smith Tea Maker Meadow. Herbal infusion. And this is number 67. It says a caffeine free blend of plump, um, hand picked golden chamomile flowers and mildly stimulating fragrant hyssop, a flavorful herb said to improve one's focus. Add a smooth taste of Cape. Ro Roebos, a bit of lemon myrtle, rose petals, and linden flowers, and you may want a sun hat. One sachet. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So one sachet per eight ounces of water at 212 degrees and steep for five minutes. It says it's chamomile South African Roebis, fragrant hyssop, Linden flowers, lemon myrtle, rose petals, safflower, uh, cyane flower, and natural flavors. There's all kinds of things in there that I can't say. Um, but it is caffeine free. Okay, so this is gonna be my evening uh, tea. A caffeine free blend of golden Egyptian cam oil, or chamomile, <laughs> chamomile flowers and mildly stimulating fragrant hyssop joined with smooth cape robies flower petals and linden flowers interesting i don't know what the uh hyssop of course i don't know what the roey boys is either i'm actually gonna look that up because I don't know what hyssop is. I'm sure it's a flower of some type. It's a shrub of the mint family native to South Europe, the Middle East, and the region surrounding the Caspian Sea. The bitter minty leaves 
of which are used in cooking and herbal medicine. Let's see if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Hyssop. Hyssop. It's pronounced hyssop. God love the internet. Okay, so and then the other one is the ro R O O I B O S. How do we say that one? Its meaning is red bush and is in a broom like member of the plant family, another word I can't say, from South Africa. Let's actually, let's just open one up. I might actually have this tonight since it's, um, it's caffeine free. Oh. Well, that smells good. I don't know if you guys can see the flowers in there. It's really pretty. It's like really, really pretty. There's flowers and seeds and all kinds of pretty things in there. Huh. Wouldn't you know. I might turn into a tea drinker after all because two of these that I've been able to smell so far smell really good. So we have a total of three um, of these teas. And then we have four of the last one. It's storehouse tea, bright mint, organic green tea, lively and clean. This classic gunpowder green tea is blended with the finest peppermint and spearmint, refreshing the palate, low caffeine. Okay, so bright mint. I don't know what they mean by classic gunpowder. I don't know what that means. Uh, bright mint, one sachet, eight ounces of water at 175 degrees, steep for three to four minutes. You can re-steep it two times. It says that this is a lively and clean, this classic, oh, it just says what I just said. So what does classic gunpowder green tea, what does that mean? Gunpowder tea is a form of Chinese tea in which each leaf has been rolled into a small pellet. Its English name comes from its resemblance to grains of gunpowder. This rolling method of shaping tea is most often applied either to dried green tea or oolong tea. Huh. We're learning all kinds of things. Some of you guys might already know this. I have no idea about any of this. So I'm learning all kinds of things. Oh yeah. Oh, that is spearminty. It smells like spearmint gum. Man, this one, would, I think I would like this one, like if I my throat was sore or something. So that's what that one looks like. I'm not sure. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, I just put it up my nose. Don't do that. I think I have tea in my nose now. <laughs> I doubt it because this little sachet is um, holds all the little pieces and parts. But So I, I'll definitely be trying that very soon. Um, so that, that is the four different types of tea from Sips By, and each month you're going to have different tea. If you are interested in, um, the Sips By subscription box for $15 a month, you can also save some money, um, by using the promo code that Sips By has provided to me. And, um, you would receive $5.00 off of your first box if you use in all caps and all together, so no spaces, the wife five. So it's the wife and the number five. Um, and that will save you $5 off of your first box. So if you're a tea drinker, I, I think this is pretty cool. You get to try all kinds of different things. You get some things that are personalized. I really liked the personalization on uh, the letter or the note card that was sent with all of the information. Um, I like that it tells you how, what degree uh, temperature to brew your tea at, how many times you can use the sachet. Um, so it kind of makes it idiot proof for those of us who aren't tea drinkers and maybe just want to try something. 
Also, this is a great gift. If you've got somebody that um, is a tea drinker and you want a gift that keeps on giving, order them something like this. Um, now, you would probably have to chat with them about their personalization um, piece of it, but um, this is really, really fun and something different. So definitely check out Sips By, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited to try the different types of tea and, uh, you know, see what I like. And um, I filled mine out. I kind of, I, I was assuming I liked the different kinds of florals and, and that kind of thing. So um, I think I'm going to like all of these just based upon what I was able to smell of the different packets. There weren't any that I was like, oh, I don't know about that one. Of course, I wasn't able to smell this one. Well, you know what? Let's just open it up because I opened up all the others. Why didn't I open up this one? Oh, how cute. It's a little star shape. That's really cute. This one doesn't have a real strong um, scent to it. It just kind of reminds me of um, a regular tea that I've had before. So we'll have to, I'll have to see, you know, how it tastes um, and if I enjoy this one, but the others had uh, a really great fragrant scent, but this one just kind of smelt like a regular tea bag that I have smelt in the past. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed sharing this with you. And uh, if you really like my content, please go down and subscribe. Um, I do all kinds of different things, not just subscription boxes. Um, I try to keep a variety of things going on my channel. If there's something you would like to see um, that you would uh, like for me to do or try or whatever it is, make a comment down below, make a suggestion. But, um, and I, I really appreciate you guys viewing my channel. Um, click the subscribe button below. The bell next to the subscribe button lets you know when I have new videos coming out. And um, definitely check out Sips Buy. Use the promo code the wife 5 to save that $5 off of your first box. And I thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.